It's recording. Good. And then we're just going to wing it. Because that's all we, all we can do. Uh, welcome, folks. This is Shepherd CW. And we're out here at uh, Lakeland Highlands Scrub uh, Nature Preserve here in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, bringing to you a special presentation from uh, KWW AM 770 uh, radio station who has now unfortunately gone out of business just due to the changing morals of our country. Um, Chalk Bluff unfortunately a few years uh, later um, ended up just closing up the doors and going home. Um, I would be doing this on location but unfortunately uh, plane ticket nowadays and everything involved flying 2,000 miles to make this little film is not um, not cost effective. I'm out here today just met up with a, a dear friend from the radio station. Uh, our, my mind went dead. <laughs> I've been planning this for a week. Ardella, uh, who used to work at a radio station, uh, doing a lot of the uh, in between, a lot of things. Uh, getting me coffee on more than one occasion when we've been stuck at, in, the, in the radio station uh, in the early evening hours, uh, doing working on the books, counting, um, help on our live performers. Uh, get set up, just kind of just all around helper. If if there was a need, God gave her the gift to uh, fill it, and we're, I'm happy that that we had a chance to meet up. If we look exhausted, we are. We've been walking on this couple miles on this park at this park today, and we're not as young as we used to be, as you can imagine. You know, <laughs> what hair? <laughs> My hair is just a memory. Ours's <laughs> hair was a beautiful color. What it is, I don't remember. My memory's gone, like probably like hers is too. <laughs> so, but what I found, uh, or what we really came out here for, is to well, I'm playing out my my, my KWW memorabilia box. I found this old letter, old faded brown letter, and um, from a listener. area to, to write to the radio station and um, I found this letter that never got answered. So if uh, Ardell would uh, read this and then we'll get on to the, to the meat of what we're here for today. Okay, I'd be happy to read it. Um, it's dated May 5th, 1939, which was just This is the first time writing to you. I like the music and the teaching. As a wife of a, a beet farmer, I am often alone for long hours as my husband and crew work our way. Your radio station makes me feel like you are in the room with me, and I feel better and not so lonely. in the world today, which one is the right one to follow? The Lutherans, the Baptists, the Roman Catholic Church, or maybe even the Mormons? Number two, I have heard on your radio station that Jesus is going to come back and take his chosen ones to heaven. My question, why has he not come back yet? Number three, I have been trying to live a good life, not drinking, trying not to curse and stuff like that. Will that get me to heaven when I die? Thank you for taking the time to read this letter. Please write me back when you can. Sincerely yours, Evelyn the Seeker. She has a lot of really good questions. She does. She? Um, as I was looking at these questions, some of them sound familiar from uh, Jesus uh, when he w was in Samaria and he met with a woman at the well. She was full of similar questions. Some say worship on the mountain. Some say do this, do that. Evelyn, we want we'll do the best we can. I'm sorry, it's 45 years later than what from when you you mailed this letter. But uh, let me do what we can. Uh, got my Bible here, and we'll see what we can do about uh, to get these answers for you right now. Bear with us, 
as we get everything ready. You asked about which, um, what's the different religions. The nice thing about Christianity is it's not a religion, it's a relationship with Jesus Christ. Uh, he came to earth, died for us, uh, so that we could be forever with him. Let me um, share with you just a few verses. There's quite a few we could pick from. prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And whither I go, you, you know, and you know the way. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whither you go us, and how do we know the way? Here's the important part. That, that when I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father, but by me. Jesus doesn't say, if you follow this, or you go follow this teacher or that teacher, right. don't don't follow them. He said, "I am," which means there is no no other one. Um, pop over here real quick to John three. You may have heard these verses from from John when uh, he was talking with uh, Nicodemus. Right. Um, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. So, again, Jesus does not refer, if you look to Mohammed, to, to Buddha, to, to Joseph Smith of, of, of the Mormons, um, don't, don't look to them for salvation, because only Jesus can do that. Um, one of my favorites find it up here is in Philippians Philippians 2 Oops, here it is um, this is a very important verse for us um, Philippians 2 9 through 11 um, wherefore, wherefore God has also highly exalted him which would be the him would be Jesus and given him a name which is above every name. It's not, it's not Queen Elizabeth or, or, or King George, whoever's on the throne in England or any other country. It's Jesus. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow of things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth. And that every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Which is really good because we just came from this beautiful walk, walkway. And it, we can see the things above us, the, the beautiful sky, the, the birds and, and the dragonflies that were out today, the, uh, the frogs and maybe you know, a few birds we saw, the different plants that were down their roots trying to trip us, it seemed like at times. <laughs> Either that or our, our, our feet were getting tired from walking. We don't walk much anymore. Get old. You know, that goes. But uh, that one name above all names is Jesus. one more and we'll have this one pretty well covered for us. At the end of time when um, Jesus talks, so you've heard of, of the book of Revelation and how it predicts the future which uh, we're now in in that future, the early stages of it. Um, let see where are we at today? Okay, this talks about the unsaved. If you do not repent of your sins and ask Jesus into your heart, you will be here and you're not going to be answering to anybody but Jesus. You're not going to be any of our world uh, religious leaders, but only Jesus. This is a great, terrible day that you have to come for all who, who don't know Jesus. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the he heaven fled away, and there was found no place in them. And I saw the dead, great and small, you, your governor, which were 
writ in the books according to their works. And the sea gave up the dead. All those are buried at sea, which were in it. And death and hell delivered, delivered up the dead, which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to the works. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. That is the second death. And whoever soever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So Jesus wants a relationship with you. He makes it so that you can have a relationship. If you do not have that relationship, this last verses in, in Revelation, that's where you will spend eternity at. Again, I've only scratched the surface. Um, you've heard that Jesus is coming back. Yeah, we reach that constantly, frequently on, on the radio station. That's our hope. I know as I get older and I'm laying in a hospital bed, what do I, what's my hope? That he's going to come and get me as they're getting ready to put that tube down my throat so they can take up my gallbladder for the second time or, or, or the other half of my kidney, other half of my liver. Come on, Jesus. You know, this is our hope that he's coming back. Uh, he want, God wants every person to come to him. Let me flip over to Ephesians um, 1. Um, 4 through 7. According to as he ha hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. Having predestination predestinated us into the adoption of children by Jesus to himself according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace with all the war words saying he knew he wants us to to come to him, he wants us to repent, he wants us to come to him. That's why he, all those verses end up saying. Flip over here to Matthew 25. Twenty-five, forty-one. Okay, and um, and it says, then shall he say also unto them on the left hand depart from me ye cursed into everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his angels God does not want us to end up in hell which he had prepared for, for Satan for the devil and, and all of his angels he made a better place for us we don't want to spend eternity in judgment because we didn't bend our will and one more Twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Where is this at? Here's one of my favorites. You just see Jesus with his arms out, and saying, "Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your soul." That to me says, it, it's like. As a mother, maybe I hope he had children because they're one I've got's been a joy to my life, and and and, and same for Ardell here. She Absolutely. she's got got a beautiful eye. I've not had a chance to meet yet, but down the road we will. Uh, but but Jesus with his arms saying, "Come come on, I love you," and he kind of down on his knees, and we as little children are like, "Daddy, daddy," you know, and, and your heart's hurting, and, and he's there to make you better. Jesus is coming back for us. He promised it. All of his other promises. He died on the cross for your sins as payment to please God. Um, he's done that. He, he was rose from the dead. He promised that. He said he'd do it. And he did. So when he said he's coming back to take us away from, from these old bodies, these old worn out bodies, um, each of us, you have your own sicknesses. We all have our own sicknesses. This is what we do. We get sick. Um, he's going to take that away. And the cool, nicest thing is when he does, it'll be in a blink of an eye, and somebody said us like one one hundredth of a second. We just be breathing, and poof, we're gone. Wait for these bugs that are trying to suck our blood, and, 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 the, and the ants that are, well, ants are farming a, a hunting party. Pretty. <laughs> we didn't bring a food to ants. 
Uh, that suck. But we'll get away from that. We got mansions and clean air and, and, and be in the presence of God and, and, and forever with Him. So don't give up. He is coming back. And that we are, we can bet your life on. What was your last question, dear? Okay, yeah. Very important one. I, I've struggled with this too. Um, we'll get more into this a little bit later. You've been, you've been trying to give a lot good life. Um, can't do it. I've tried. I've tried years ago uh, to live my life without the power of Jesus. I, I can use the words because words are easy to do. You know, somebody who likes to think and create and tell stories. I, I can tell my story. I'm saved. But there was a, a time years ago um, ser- serving with, with with my sister here. Um, doing whatever we had to do at the radio station and, and, and other areas of our life uh, working together day and night as soon as I <laughs> never ended that's for sure ah, I can't believe that one little building had someone to work with it but I didn't have the power to live the, the Christian life didn't have the power to live for Jesus because the Holy Spirit wasn't in me and here's what it says in Ephesians 11 uh, excuse me Hebrews 11 real simple verse Ephesians uh, 11 6 but without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You have to have faith. It's hard if you've never had faith. Well, you know you have faith in your car. You know you have faith in, in, the, t- in the chair that you're sitting on to write this letter. You didn't doubt that, that that was going to stay put when you sat on it. That's the kind of faith. Um, let's go here to Romans. Okay. My brain's getting tired of Evelyn, I'm sorry. So let's do this here. Okay. But wait, um, Romans three ten. As it is written, there is none righteous, no not one. None of us we're all have sinned, there's no doubt about it. I'm gonna put it in so many verses. For all have sinned. thousand people think he's drunk. He said, it's only nine o'clock in the morning. He's going to be drunk. Peter said to them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sin and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to, unto you and to your children and all them that are far off which would be you and I and our sister and even as many as the Lord our God shall call. So that's pretty good. And then we go over here to Romans 8 again. Eight, sixteen, and 17. One more page over. The Holy Spirit comes to as soon as we repent and invite, invite that's this keyword, invite, uh, Jesus and He um, gives us the Holy Spirit, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God and if children then heirs heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ if so be that we suffer with him that we may be also glorified so with the Holy Spirit in Jesus comes back or, or we die we have to go through the grave Holy Spirit says yep he, he, he's, he's ours he's, he belongs to us set him into heaven and that's, that's a good thing and Romans 8 
already read that one. Ellen, I know this is short and quick, and there's so many more verses that need to be said to you. But this is just a quick thing. Before I do, I want to leave these few verses with you, and we're going to close this out. And, and I hope through the miracle that of, of us having your letter after this many years, that you will somehow either have your answers question or answered by somebody else, or you will somehow this will find its way through through the internet or things like that. And this little book I'm reading from heaven, how to get there? Heaven, only one way. Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. The man comes unto me, or unto the Father, but by me." John 14:6. again on the third day according to scriptures 1 Corinthians 15 3 through 4 God's wonderful gift for by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourself for it is the gift of God Ephesians 2 8 and lastly you have to receive the gift you just don't say okay you know you've got the gift I want give me that but unless you ask for it you're not going to get it he will not come into your into your life without you asking for as many as receive him, to him gave he gave to be power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. First John one two. Evelyn, this is all short. This is ask that you seek out a pastor and get your local church that preaches God. Thank you, dear sister, for coming. Okay. I think we're both kaput. <laughs> so, um, this is Brother Harvey Tramsey, our Stardell, and we'll return this back. Uh, we'll get this movie processed and out so you can see it. Thank you again. We ask that you do this very soon because you never know when the, your last your last breath gets started. We don't know the day or the hour which we, our souls we can be called out. So, blessings to you. Take care. Lord bless you. Thank you for being with you today. God bless you.